Now in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Elite Screen Yardmaster Outdoor Screen. This screen is gonna transform any area of your home into a home theater experience. Now, more importantly, this screen, not only will it work indoor, but it will work in the outdoor. Matter of fact, you're seeing this in our backyard now. We have this 125 inch screen right in our pool area and the view is spectacular. So let's talk about the Yardmaster. First of all, this is a front projection screen. It's using Cinewhite projection, which is gonna give you a wide angle that's gonna be clear, bright, and uniform, regardless of the angle that you're gonna be in. So again, when you're looking at nine time settings like this, you're gonna see an amazing, amazing image. Now this screen also features a four-sided black masking border. And this comes in really handy because if you happen to overshoot your image because of the actual uh, projection that you're using, you don't have to worry about it looking a little bit off because that black border is going to mask things for you. Now, it does also have a black backing. And what that's going to do is it's going to eliminate any spillage of light, right? Uh, either going out or coming in. So you're going to be able to get the best possible image. Now, this screen is designed for a variety of projector types. It's super duper flexible. It's going to be a standard throw projector. It's going to support short throw projectors. And it will also support ultra short throw projectors. In our video, we've actually tested it with two projectors. We tested it with the AWOL projector that you've seen on our channel. And we've also tested it also with the X Jimmy. And matter of fact, there's actually three of them. And the last one we tested this with was with the N1 Ultra that we have also recently reviewed. So each one of these projectors, various projector types, all of them work spectacularly with this screen. Now, you're gonna be able to project full HD, Ultra HD, right, 4K and 8K, and it's also gonna support active 3D. Now, I don't know how many of you will be in the outside with, you know, glasses on watching 3D images, but if you think about having this on your garage, on the side of your garage, or inside of your home, wherever it's gonna be, you're gonna be able to use also 3D projection. It has an ISF certification, which means that you're gonna get the most accurate color reproduction. It's encased in a heavy duty steel case and it uses a radio frequency remote to be able to raise and lower the screen, which means that it's not a line of sight remote. You don't have to point at it in order for it to work. It's just gonna work once it's been paired with it. It also has a built-in battery. And I think that this is also one of the coolest features. No cables to run. And the cool thing is that it will support up to 200 cycles on a single charge. 200 cycles. So literally, you can imagine having an entire season of watching movies and only having to charge this once. Now, let's be realistic. Elements are going to happen. Thing, it's going to rain. So this is also IPX3 certified. We actually have gone through rain in, in Chicago last couple days, and the screen has been in the outdoor. I've been testing it, checking the up and down mechanism, and also looking at the screen to see if there's been any damage to it. No damage whatsoever. IPX3 certified. So let's take a closer look. We'll see it in action. You'll see how it works during the day. And more importantly, we'll see it at night. All right guys, so the first thing that you'll notice is that this is a very, very large screen. Um, and it is doing really well even though we're in Chicago and it's uh, windy. Uh, my pool has just recently been open and we still have to do some of our spring cleaning, but it's still chilly, so uh, that hasn't happened yet. So apologies for the surrounding area. But what you'll notice first of all is that uh, the screen is doing really well despite the wind as far as um, it's you know, pretty much staying in, in a really good place because it does have the bottom right there that you're seeing, and let me get my finger in frame, um, has is weighted, right? So it, it's not flapping around uncontrollably, which is also really nice. Now, the other cool thing about this screen is that it is 100% power free. So what you'll notice is on the upper left-hand corner, there are some buttons right there. Those buttons right there are going to control the up, down, a motion powering on and off and I do have a remote control that I can use to control the actual screen. But what I like about this is that the previous version that we had from Elite Screens required it to be powered. I do have power at the very top of this um, this area but I like having something that is power uh, that doesn't require power because it has a built-in battery. There's a little cap on the upper left hand corner that you'll see right there a white cap that's actually plugging the electrical plug. Uh, but outside of that, this is going to be a worry-free screen. As long as you retract it, you don't have to worry about the elements, rain, or anything like that. I would not leave it out during the winter, though. I, I always put my screens in in the winter. 
So we're gonna go ahead and close it up and you can see uh, the retraction is very quiet. It's very smooth and it's not moving up too fast and it's not moving uh, too slow. And you'll notice that it'll go back into the lock position. And once it gets into the lock position, that's the position that I prefer to have my screen when uh, it's not in use. And again, you can leave this outside in the elements without a problem. Very, very, very quiet. Let's take a closer look. All right, so let's take a look at that one more time. Just the downward motion, very, very quiet. You can see that that bottom bar is weighted and it's assisting with the screen coming down. It does have tension cords on the sides. You do have this little button here that you can press that kind of stops it in whatever position you want. And you could also set this as a memory position. So like right there, I stopped it. You saw how quickly that stopped. Now, for those of you who are curious about what the back of the screen would look like, this is what it will look like. Uh, pretty much, it's a screen. All right, guys, so now this is what we're talking about. Look at the overall quality of this screen. Uh, the blacks are deep. The colors are vibrant. I'm using an XGME projector with this uh, screen. And here is another perfect example. Look at how colorful uh, this area is. All the reds, all the oranges, uh, the water, the reflection, the sky, just everything just pops. And, and that's due to a combination of two things, having a fantastic screen like the one that you see here, and then having a great projector as well. Now my projector is sitting around eight to 12 feet away from the screen. And it's giving you this kind of quality because of the screen material. And then obviously uh, the projector power. So this is a 4K projector. Now, this is gonna be a screen that you can hang in a variety of scenarios. You can hang this on the side of your garage. You can put this inside of your garage. You could put this out in a setting like this. Really, it's about transforming any location inside or outside of your home, in this case, outside, to that perfect movie theater experience. And we're definitely getting it here. And you're gonna see uh, throughout this video just the overall quality that you're getting as that screen is just absorbing that light and then reflecting or showing that image. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.